Welcome to yoga. In our class today, we will focus on gratitude and bringing the spirit of gratitude into our yoga practice. So we will get started in a seated position. So making your way to sit comfortably and you're welcome to sit on a mat. You can sit on a cushion or block if you've got them available. So just take a moment to set yourself up comfortably and you may wish to sit in a cross-legged position or sitting on top of the shins. Settling into your seat and allowing the eyes to softly close or gaze towards the floor so that the eyes are just barely open. And now focusing on your breath and invite the breath to flow in and out through the nose. And each time that you inhale, feeling the belly gently expand as the lungs fill. And as you exhale, empty fully and drawing the navel in towards the spine. And continue to breathe in this way, full, complete inhalations. Full, complete exhalation. Begin to deepen the breath by lengthening each inhalation and each exhalation, finding a slow and comfortable pace. Inviting the mind to focus on the breath. Continue to breathe deeply and now draw your attention to something or someone that you are grateful for. Allowing yourself to be filled with the sensation of gratitude. And we'll continue our centering by moving through a body scan. So I guide you to focus on each part of your body. Allow yourself to feel some gratitude and appreciation for what your body can do. Appreciating your body just as it is in this moment. Without any need to change or make anything different than it is. Bring your awareness to the top of the head, face and back of the head, the neck, shoulders, chest and upper back, the rib cage, front sides and back of the rib cage, the belly and lower back, the pelvis, and now the tops of the shoulders, down the arms, through the wrists and the tips of the fingers. Again, feeling grateful for your body, pelvis, thighs, knees, shins and calves, ankles, the 
tops and bottoms of the feet, down through the tips of the toes. Sensing your entire body seated on the floor. Allowing yourself to sense gratitude for your entire being for this moment, this time for your yoga practice. And now as we prepare to ease into movement, I invite you to take the spirit of gratitude with you and practice kindness to your body, knowing you're always free to take a rest or modify the poses at any time to best meet your needs. And if you've closed the eyes very softly, allow the eyes to open. And now shift around, extending the legs out in front of you. Sitting with the legs long. And now begin to flex and point the feet, beginning to loosen up the ankles and the legs. Remaining in a tall posture with the shoulders relaxed and the hands resting by your sides. And now begin to circle the feet, drawing the toes towards one another and then away. And now circle in the opposite direction. And give the legs a little shake from side to side, releasing any tension or tightness that may have accumulated from sitting. And now coming back to a cross-legged position. Again, sitting tall, relaxing the shoulders, bringing the hands to the knees. And again, you can either gaze softly or keep the eyes closed as you prefer. And now begin to circle the torso, breathing naturally in and out through the nose. You may wish to make the circle small and gradually make them larger. Find a way to coordinate with the coordinate the breath with the movement that feels natural. And now pause to reverse and move your circles in the opposite direction, continuing to loosen up the spine. Now begin to gradually make the circles a little bit smaller, a little slower, and gradually finding your way back to stillness. Relaxing the arms by your sides and now moving on to the shoulders. And as you inhale, draw the shoulders up towards the ears and then exhaling, roll the shoulders back and down. And continue to move with the breath, inhaling as you draw the shoulders up to the ears and then exhaling as you roll the shoulders back and down. And as you roll the shoulders back, drawing the shoulder blades towards one another, releasing any tension or tightness you may be holding in the upper back. And rolling the shoulders back once more and releasing. Placing the hands by your sides along the floor, continuing to sit tall, lengthening through the head and the neck, relaxing the shoulders. And on your next inhalation, lifting one arm overhead and then exhale as you stretch over to the opposite side. And then inhale, coming back up just to center and then exhale, continue to stretch over to the same side. And as you reach over, the hand that's on the floor may slide a little further away. And reaching over once more to the side and then coming to hold. 
So if you like, you could drop down onto the elbow or just slide the hand a little further away, keeping both hips level. Lengthen through both sides of the torso, lifting through the chest and keeping the head and neck in line with the spine. And now circling the arm from the shoulder. And you can make these circles large or small as you explore the range of movement in your shoulder today. And now pause to reverse and move your circle in the opposite direction. And circling the arm around once more, and then holding the arm overhead. See if you can spiral the chest open towards the sky a little bit more. Breathe. And now on your next exhalation, deepening the stretch, moving just a little bit further to the side. Holding here for one more full breath. And then on your next inhalation, press into the hand that's on the floor, pull the navel towards the spine. Inhale as you slowly make your way right back to center and then exhale, relax both arms down by your sides. Pause here and notice how one side of the body feels in relation to the other. Now moving to the other side, inhale as you lift the opposite arm overhead and then exhale, stretching over to the other side. And inhale, lifting back to right, exhale, reaching over to the side again. And continue to move with the breath, inhaling as you lift and exhaling as you stretch over to the side. And reaching over once more and now coming to hold. So sliding the hand along the floor a little further away, perhaps dropping to the elbow. And find a place to hold the stretch that is comfortable without strain. Keep the hips level, lengthen through both sides of the torso. Chest is lifted, shoulders moving down the back. Head and neck in line with the spine. And now circling this arm overhead. And you're welcome to make the circle small and if you like, gradually making them larger. And now pause, reverse and circle in the other direction. And circling the arm around once more and then holding the arm overhead. Stretching out through the arm, the chest. Breathe. And now exhaling, reaching to the side, coming to your fullest extension of the side stretch. And now press into the hand on the floor, navel to spine, inhale as you gently make your way back to center, exhale, release the arms down. Close the eyes or gaze softly. Breathe and receive the sensations of the stretch. Now, bringing the hands to the floor in front of you, we'll make our way onto hands and knees for table. Lifting the hips. And as you come into table, you're welcome to rest either on the forearms, on the fists, or on the palms of your hands. So you can see which option feels best in the wrist today, and you could feel free to move between those options. 
The wrists are right underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, tops of the feet resting on the mat. In your next inhalation, lengthen through the spine, extending the tailbone and the crown of the head away from one another. Broaden through the chest and move the shoulders down the back. Keep a soft bend in the elbow so that the arms are not hyperextended. We'll move into cat and dog stretches for the spine. On your next inhalation, lift the tailbone, relax the belly, open the chest and look upward, moving into a dog tilt. And on your next exhalation, draw the tailbone under, round through the spine, bringing the chin in towards the chest. Inhaling, arching into dog. And as you exhale, rounding the spine into cat. Keep breathing deeply in and out through the nose. And invite the mind to focus on the body and the breath, being aware of sensation. Allow yourself to enjoy the sensations of the stretch. Now we'll expand on this movement. The next time that you round the spine into cat, pause for a moment. And then exhaling, lowering the bottom to the heels, lowering the forehead, coming briefly into a child pose. And then inhaling, pressing right back up to table. And lifting the feet as you lower the hips down, coming into a modified upward dog. Inhaling, moving into table, rounding the spine. Exhale, lower into child. Inhaling, lifting up to table, bringing the hips forward, opening the chest into a modified upward dog, allowing the feet to lift away from the mat. I continue to Move back and forth at your own pace, following your breath. And taking your time. The next time that you land in child pose, pausing here. And if it's comfortable, you could rest the forehead on the mat, or you can allow the head to hover. Breathing deeply and sending the breath into the back of the body. One more breath here, and on your next inhalation, lifting back up into table. Preparing now for downward facing dog. Spreading the fingers wide and press into each fingertip and knuckle. And if you're on the forearms, you could come into a variation of downward dog, remaining on the forearms. Bring the balls of the feet to the mat, draw breath in, and then as you Exhale, lifting the hips high and press the hips up and pressing the tailbone up and back towards where the ceiling and wall meet behind you. And begin to pedal out the legs, bending one knee as you press the opposite heel into the mat and alternating. Draw the shoulder blades down the back and aim the top of the head to the space between your hands. And now press both heels towards the mat and it's okay if they don't reach. And feel an extension through the entire back of the body.
Exhale, lower the knees, come back to table position. And now stretching your right leg back, bringing the ball of the foot to the floor and lifting the heel and begin to rock forward and back. Giving a stretch to the calf and the back of that leg. And now coming to hold, pressing out through the heel, breathing into the stretch. And on your next inhalation, lifting the leg so it's extended out from the hip. And then bend the knee in towards the chest and then step the foot forward, coming into a low lunge. Sliding the left knee towards the back of your mat to deepen the stretch in the front of that thigh. The front knee is bent in line with the ankle, coming to rest on the palms or fingertips, lifting the chest and relaxing the shoulders. Now we'll bend and straighten the front leg. On your next inhalation, straightening the front leg a little or a lot, lifting the toes away from the floor, stretching the back of that leg. And then exhale, bending the knee, returning to the low lunge. And again, inhaling, straightening the leg. Exhaling, bend. Continue to move back and forth with the breath. Noticing these sensations in the leg and the hip. And coming back to the low lunge with the knee bent, lifting the chest and relaxing the shoulders. From here, we'll make our way up into crescent pose. On your next in-breath, bringing one hand at a time to the front thigh, lifting the torso and then bringing the hands to the hips. Drawing the tailbone down and pressing the thighs towards one another for stability, lifting through the chest and relaxing the shoulders. Lengthening through the head and the neck, chin is parallel to the floor. And now releasing your arms and inhale as you lift the arms up and overhead. And arms could be wide apart or closer together. And now flex through the hands, pressing the fingers back towards the wall behind you to stretch through the forearms, wrists, and hands. Keep breathing deeply in and out through the nose, making any adjustments for comfort. One more full breath here, and then on your next exhalation, lowering the arms down, hands bring the front foot. We'll move next into a twisting variation. So bringing the left hand to the floor, bringing the right hand to your hip. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, and then exhale, twisting towards your right side in the direction of your bent knee. Keep the shoulders relaxed. And you can keep the hand on the hip to support the lower back or extend that arm straight up from the shoulder. And you're welcome to stay here in this version, keeping the back knee on the floor. Or if you like, you could bring the ball of the left foot to the mat and then straighten that leg, pressing out through the heel and coming into a high lunge variation. One more full, full breath here, and then exhaling, unwinding, bringing the hand back to the floor, and then stepping back to table pose. And from table, we'll come into child for a moment before moving on to the other side. Lowering the bottom to the heels, and either releasing the forehead to the mat or allowing the head to hover. Relax the arms and turn the palms to face upward, releasing the wrists.
And now on your next inhalation, easing back up into table position. And now moving on to the opposite leg, extending your left leg back, bringing the ball of the foot to the floor, lifting the heel, keeping the chest lifted and shoulders moving down the back and begin to rock forward and back here, giving a stretch to the calf and the back of the leg. And now coming to hold, pressing out through that back heel. On your next inhalation, lifting the leg so that the heel is extended in line with the hip. And then bending that knee, drawing it into the chest, stepping that foot forward, making your way into the low lunge. And if you like sliding that right knee closer to the rear of your mat, Front knee is bent in line with the ankle. On your next inhalation, straightening that front leg a little or a lot, you could walk the hands in a little bit closer towards you, coming onto the fingertips, and then exhaling, bending into that knee again. Inhaling, straightening. Exhale, bend. Continue to move back and forth with the breath. Encouraging the mind to focus on the breath and the sensations in the body as you move. And the next time that you bend the front knee, coming to hold the low lunge, preparing to move into crescent pose. On your next inhalation, bringing one hand at a time to the front thigh and then bringing the hands to the hips, lifting the torso upright. Just ground the front foot and the back shin into the floor for stability. Draw the tailbone down, pressing the thighs towards one another. Lifting the chest and relaxing the shoulders. And if you like adding the arms, releasing the arms and inhale, bringing the arms overhead. You could bring the arms closer together or wider apart, flexing through the hands, pressing the fingertips back and breathe. And one more full breath here. And then exhaling, lowering the hands down, coming onto the palms or fingertips, preparing for the twisting variation now. Bringing your left hand to your left hip. Bringing the right palm to the floor. Lengthen through the spine and exhale as you twist towards the front bent knee. Hand could rest on the lower back for support or extend the arm straight up from the shoulder. And you could stay here, keeping the back knee on the floor, or if you like, straightening that back leg, coming into the high lunge variation. And now exhaling, winding, bringing the hands back to the floor, framing your front foot. And if the back knee is still on the mat, straightening that back leg, making your way into the high lunge. And then on your exhalation, stepping the back foot forward, coming to stand in a forward fold, releasing the crown of the head. And you're welcome to keep a soft bend in the knees. And now place the hands on the front of the shins. And as you inhale, lift the spine halfway so the spine is parallel to the floor. And then exhaling, fold forward. Now bring the hands to the hips, pressing the feet into the floor. Pull the navel towards the spine. 
and inhale as you slowly hinge from the hips, gradually making your way up to standing. Taking your time. And once you're standing upright, releasing the shoulders, inhaling as you draw the shoulders up towards the ears and then exhaling, rolling the shoulders back and down. I'm taking a few deep breaths here, allowing yourself to adjust to standing upright. And rolling the shoulders once more and then releasing the arms down. Standing tall with the feet hips width apart, grounding the feet down towards the earth. Bringing the pelvis to a neutral alignment, drawing the tailbone down. Broaden through the chest and relax the shoulders, lengthen through the head and the neck. Chin is parallel to the earth. On your next inhalation, lifting the arms up and overhead. And interlace the hands together with the index fingers extended overhead. We'll move into a side stretch here. So pressing into the feet, lengthening through the torso. So reach long through the crown of the head. As you exhale, reach the torso over to your right side, pressing the left hip away. And then inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, stretching to the other side. Inhale, return to center. Exhale, stretching over to your right side again. Keep lengthening through both sides of the torso. Keeping the chest lifted. No need to stretch over as far as you possibly can, but come to a place where you feel a comfortable sensation. And now press into the feet, navel to spine. Inhale as you slowly come back to center. And exhale, reaching to your other side. And press into the feet, navel to spine. Inhale as you slowly make your way back to center. And then exhaling, lower the hands down to prayer position in front of the heart. Closing the eyes or gaze softly, connecting with your heart, feeling the heartbeat through your thumbs. And returning again to that spirit of gratitude. Again, noticing what it is that you are grateful for in this moment. Sensing appreciation for your body exactly as it is right now. And releasing the arms down by your sides. We're prepared to move into some standing poses starting with warrior. So if you have a mat, stepping to the front of your mat, and standing tall with the feet hips width apart, relaxing the shoulders, bringing the hands to the hips. Draw breath in and then as you exhale, step the right foot back, keeping that back heel lifted as you bend into the front knee. Feet are hips width apart. You can adjust your stance by walking that back foot in a little bit closer for stability or drawing that foot further back for a deeper stretch. See what feels right for you. Draw the tailbone down and square the hips forward. Right hip presses slightly forward, left hip slightly back. Lengthen evenly through the abdomen and the lower back. Draw the thighs towards one another. Shoulders are relaxed. Keep lengthening through the head and the neck. Chin is parallel to the earth. And now releasing the arms and inhale as you bring the arms up and overhead, either wider apart or closer together. Breathe. 
And now we'll move into another variation with the arms, bringing the arms behind you. And you can either clasp opposite elbows with the hands, or if it's accessible, you can interlace the hands together and straighten the arms. Pressing the hands away from you as you open through the chest and draw the shoulder blades towards one another. One more breath in whichever variation you're in with the arms. And then releasing the arms. Inhale, lifting the arms overhead once again. From here, we'll open up into warrior two posture. So bringing the right heel to the floor as you turn the torso to the side. And relax the arms to the hips. So the front knee is turned out 90 degrees. The back foot is at a 45 degree angle. And squaring the hips forward. So the hips, rib cage, and shoulders are all in one line. And as you're ready, extend the arms to T position at shoulder height, reaching long through the fingertips, drawing the shoulder blades towards one another, and then turning the head to look past the fingers of your left hand. And now turning the left palm to face up. And as you inhale, slide the right hand down the right leg, keeping the front knee bent, stretching over towards the back leg. And then inhaling, lifting back up to warrior two. And then bringing the left forearm to the left thigh, stretching the right arm overhead for a side angle posture. So keep pressing the feet into the floor. spine long. Let's see if you can sense a long line of energy coming from the right heel up through the hips, shoulder, out through the arm and the crown of the head. And now press into the feet, navel to spine, inhale, lifting back up to warrior two pose. And now straightening the legs, release the arms. Feel toe the feet closer together. And coming to, to stand tall with the feet hips width apart, relaxing the shoulders. Close the eyes or gaze softly. Scan the body here to receive, noticing how one side of the body feels in relation to the other. Now give one leg a shake and then the other. And we'll prepare to repeat this sequence on the other side. If you have a mat coming to stand at the front of your mat, feet are hips width apart, grounding the feet into the earth, engaging the legs, lengthening evenly through the abdomen and the lower back. Broaden through the chest and relax the shoulders. Lengthen through the head and the neck. And now bring the hands to the hips. We'll prepare to step back now with the left leg. Inhaling, lengthen, exhale, stepping back, keeping the feet hips width apart. Back heel is lifted, bending into the front knee. You can adjust the stance, bringing the back foot closer in or sliding it towards the back of your space. Lengthen through the abdomen and the lower back. Broaden through the chest and relax the shoulders. Releasing the arms and inhale, lifting the arms up and overhead, wide apart or closer together, flexing through the fingers. Now moving into a variation, lowering the arms behind you, either 
clasping opposite elbows with the hands or clasping the hands together and straightening the arms. Allow your body to guide you in your variation, seeing what feels best for you. Keep breathing deeply in and out through the nose. One more full breath here. And on your next inhalation, releasing the arms overhead once again. And prepare to open up into warrior two. Bending the back heel on the floor, bringing that foot in at a 45 degree angle. Front knee is bent 90 degrees. Square the hips and shoulders forward so they're in line. Reaching along through the fingertips and turning the head to gaze past the fingers of your right hand. Keep breathing, making any adjustments. You know, you can always take a break, relax the arms, or move in and out of the posture. And now turning the right palm to face upward, preparing for a reverse warrior. Sliding the left hand down the left leg and reaching the torso over to your left side. Inhale, lifting back up to warrior two, preparing for a side angle. Exhaling, bringing the right forearm to the right thigh, left arm reaches overhead. Again, feeling that long line of energy from the back heel, up through the hip, shoulder, crown of the head. Feel free to make any adjustments or explore any variations of side angle. And now pressing into the feet, navel to spine, inhale, making your way back to warrior two. And exhaling, release the arms, straighten the front leg, and heel toe the feet closer together. Standing in, simple mountain with the arms by your sides. Close the eyes or gaze softly. Again, checking in to notice any sensations. Notice what you're feeling in the body, mind, and breath. Being aware of sensation with compassion and curiosity. And gratitude for this moment, for this body. And releasing by giving one leg and then the other a little shake. And again, standing tall with the feet hips width apart. We'll move next into a standing balance, coming into crane pose. So standing with the feet hips width apart and really grounding the feet into the floor. Standing tall with the shoulders relaxed and finding a focal point at eye level to fix your gaze and attention. And now begin to shift your weight into the right leg pressing evenly into the inside and the outside of the foot, keeping that leg strong as you bend the left knee, lifting the foot off the floor, bringing the knee in line with the hips and extend the arms to shoulder height, keeping the shoulders, elbows, and wrists soft, coming into crane. Keep the eyes fixed on your focal point, keep breathing, keeping the mind clear. And if you wobble or need to move in and out of the pose, feel free. You're also welcome to hold onto a wall if you like. One more breath here. Exhale slowly, release the foot down, release the arms by your sides. Close the eyes or gaze softly for a moment. Noticing the sensations of release and being aware how one side of the body feels in relation to the other. 
We'll give the right leg a little shake. And then we'll prepare for the other side. So again, standing tall with the feet, hips width apart, shoulders relaxed. Lengthen through the abdomen and the lower back, keeping the core engaged. And now shifting your weight into that left leg, lifting the right foot off the floor. That knee comes in line with the hip as you extend the arms. Keeping the standing leg strong, drawing the navel towards the spine, using the core to help stabilize the body. Keep breathing deeply, fixing your gaze at a focal point to have that visit moving. One more full breath here if that's available. And then exhaling slowly, releasing the leg and releasing the arms by your side. Pausing here to receive. Receiving the energy of Crane. And now giving that left leg a little shake to release. And from here, we'll prepare to head towards the floor and we'll move through a half sun salutation. Standing tall with the feet, hips width apart, inhaling as you bring the arms out to the side and then overhead, bringing your palms together to touch. And then as you exhale, extend the arms to T position, hinging forward from the hips into a forward fold. Bringing the hands to the shins. Inhale, lifting halfway so the spine is parallel to the floor. And then exhaling, fold forward. Bend the knees as much as you need to, bringing the hands to the floor and then step one knee back and then the other, lowering down into a table position. And from table, coming to a seated position, swinging the legs around and rolling the feet from side to side. So next we'll come to lying our back for a few more postures and then we'll move into relaxation. So bending the knees and bringing the feet to the floor and rolling down onto the back, keeping the knees bent and the arms by your side. And just allow yourself to get settled here into the floor. Bringing as much of the upper back and shoulders in contact with the floor. And keeping the back of the neck long, tucking the chin in slightly. And now bending your right knee into the chest, taking hold of the right knee with both hands. Keeping the head and shoulders on the floor as you draw that right knee into the chest. You're welcome to keep the left knee bent or you have the option to straighten that left leg along the floor. Keep hugging that knee in close to the chest Breathing deeply in and out through your nose. And on each inhalation, feeling the belly expand and press towards the thigh. And as you exhale, hugging that knee in a little closer towards the chest. Again, as you inhale, feel the belly expand and press towards the thigh. Taking a massage to the digestive organs, and then exhaling, hugging the knee in closer. Keep breathing deeply in and out through the nose. 
And if your mind wanders away or becomes distracted, gently guide your attention back to the breath, back to your body. And your next exhalation, hugging that knee in a little bit closer once more. And now bringing the hands to the back of the thigh as you straighten the leg up in the air. And circle that ankle overhead. And circle the foot in the other direction. And come to stillness. Keeping the Leg extended in the air, relax the arms by your side. Now flexing the foot, beginning on your next exhalation and taking several breaths, very slowly lower that leg down to the floor. Taking your time, and after you release the leg to the floor, notice how one side of the body feels in relation to the other, and then give that right leg a little shake. Bend both knees, returning the feet to the, to the mat once again, and now hugging your left knee into the chest, placing the hands on top of the shins, and keeping the Shoulders and the back of the head on your mat. And you're welcome to keep that right knee bent. Or if you'd like, you could straighten the leg along the floor and flex the foot. And each time that you inhale, feeling the belly expand and press towards the thigh. And as you exhale, hugging that knee in a little bit closer, let's see if you could keep the knee hugged in close as you continue to breathe deeply. Hugging that knee in once more on your next exhalation. And now bringing the hands to the back of the thigh as you straighten the leg, so the foot reaching up to the sky. And now circle the foot at the ankle, moving first in one direction and then the other. And now coming to stillness, flexing through that foot, relax the arms by your sides. Starting on the next exhalation and taking several breaths, very slowly and gradually, lowering that leg all the way down to the floor. In your time. And once the leg returns to the floor, allow that leg to relax. You can receive, noticing the sensations in the body. 
give that leg a little shake. Now reach the arms overhead along the floor. And as you next inhale, reach long through the fingertips, press out through the soles of the feet, feeling a full body stretch. And then as you exhale, relaxing and hugging both knees into the chest, placing a hand on top of each knee or shin, and pulling the knees in close, breathing deeply. You could hold here in stillness. If you like, you could gently rock from side to side or circle on the sacrum. So listening to your body, either moving into stillness or coming into small movements. Now releasing the legs and preparing for our final relaxation, Shavasana. Extending the legs straight. As we move into Shavasana, if you like, you're welcome to put on socks or any extra layers of clothing. You're welcome to grab a blanket or perhaps placing a cushion underneath the knees if you have that available. So taking a moment to set yourself up comfortably. Relaxing the arms by your sides with the palms facing upward. See if you could bring a little bit more of the upper back and shoulders in contact with the floor, gently opening up the chest. Tucking the chin in slightly to lengthen through the back of the neck. And once you're situated, allowing the body to fully relax. Releasing any breathing pattern and allow your breath to flow naturally and effortlessly. Bringing your attention to the parts of your body that are in contact with the mat. And imagine the muscles of the body growing warm, soft, and heavy. Releasing the weight of your body down towards the earth as if you were lying in sand. Feeling yourself connected and supported by the earth beneath you. Allowing the body to relax completely. receiving the benefit of your practice. Very gradually begin to deepen the breathing, making some small movements with the fingers and the toes. And one at a time, drawing both knees into your chest and rolling over onto your right side, coming to rest in a fetal position. Taking a moment here to acknowledge your efforts and dedication. And now pressing your hands into the mat and mindfully making your way up to a seated position. So 
sitting tall with the eyes remaining closed. And once again, scanning the body, noticing what has changed since the start of your practice. Noticing where you may feel stretched or strengthened. Perhaps feeling more spacious and open. Noticing and accepting whatever it is you're feeling in this moment. Bringing the hands to prayer position, dropping the chin to the chest, coming into a gesture of gratitude. And again, noticing what you are feeling grateful for in this moment. And I invite you to take this feeling of gratitude with you into your day. Om Shanti Peace. May the peace in our hearts bring peace into the world. Softly allow the eyes to open, lifting the gaze. Namaste. I honor the light in you.